by chance, perfectly good work in order to, just by chance, it could evolve, you know, if evolution was true, you know what I mean, and, uh, I mean, I, I've been debating these guys for the last two days, and one after another, when you hit the Bible prophecy, this is funny, when you hit Bible prophecy, because they say God's a joke, the Bible's a joke, and I'm like, alright, prove it, prove me one thing in Bible prophecy that hasn't come true. Every last one of them, every single one of them drop off. They That's have correct, and, and um, see, the, the, the problem is, is people don't really understand the scripture. Right? Yep. That's why there's so many different religions. Because um, these people over here, they want to think that the scripture means this, and these people over there think the scripture means that, so yep. nobody really knows what the scripture is actually meaning. And so they make different religions, and everybody's confused, and everybody blames religion on everything, and it's really the wrong thing to do. Um, Anything spiritual in this world proves the existence of the Creator God. Exactly. The human soul proves the existence of the Creator God. Then we'll have all these atheists and Satanists. Oh, this is so stupid, human soul. And I'm like, oh, okay, so you have no soul. It's like, come on. I mean, well, what makes you feel? What makes you love? What makes what makes you just catch the atmosphere and auras and everything that you feel your whole life? You know, tell me you don't have a soul. Yeah. You know, it's like everybody is basically a spirit covered in flesh, blood, bones, and hair. Yep. And that's what we all are. And, and, and you have a bunch of really evil people that want to justify their sin. And they try to make evil good, but it's not good. So most people, these new kids today, this new Generation X, they can't even decipher good from evil anymore. No, they can't. And it's so sad. It is, because they get taught in school. When you go into school, you get taught, oh, the world is crazy. Yeah, and you notice how the textbooks change. Every time they revise the textbook, it's always added a couple million, a couple billion years onto it. You know, when I went to school... <laughs> yeah, every two to four years they change the book. Yeah. It doesn't matter if your debate is correct and accurate. Yep. They will always find a way to try to distort it because that's how evil works. Yeah. Evil is a force of destruction yep. that deceives and devours everything in its wake until there's nothing left. It's a vacuum of doom. Evil always contradicts itself. Yeah, it does. It always lies because its foundation is lies. And people don't understand what they're getting themselves into. You know, back in the day, some of the people I thought evil was cool. You know, I mean, I've never been evil per se myself. Yeah. I'm not an evil person, but I did. I did out party the whole country by myself without even trying because of my energy. Now, I never partied for evil, but I was playing in the devil's playground. Yep. Because of my party habits, I almost lost my soul. Yeah. And and I was targeted out um, the last second of the main calendar is the last second of my birthday. All my astrological numbers add up to nine, which is a symbol of completion. There's 360 yep. degrees in the zodiac. Three plus six is nine. So I was... I was, um, I'm still trying to figure out why the dark side wanted me so bad, but they sure, they spent decades, a lot of money and a lot of manpower trying to deceive me or kill me, and the attempted murders in my life have been so many I lost count years yeah. ago, and I can't tell you how many times I stood in front of death just like you should not even believe in what's going down, and, um, pray to God saved my life, that's all I can say, and I've just been through such hairy times that... I can't even believe that it all really happened, but it did, and I remember it like yesterday, I remember all of it. Oh, it's amazing. I, I, I see people, people are so confused about what's going on, but really the whole, the whole basis of the Bible prophecy, it's all real. I proved it to myself because I stood there and put myself on the line when I was surrounded by the children of the serpent. I put myself on the line standing in front of death, and basically at the time I wanted to die because I didn't want to, I couldn't live in their demonic cycle of filth. I hated it. And and I, you know, to me, death would have been better than living under that demonic hierarchy and Murphy's Law bullshit yeah. that they that they spew out twenty four seven. And um, because of this, I used myself as a lab experiment, and I proved to myself that these people that surrounded me were actually demons in human skin. They're hybrids, demonic hybrids. Now, not all people. There's different. There's different aspects to what I'm talking about. A lot of people are just human sellouts. They yeah. sell out the evil and they do the evil bidding, but they will never rise above anybody that's a demonic hybrid because the hybrids will never let a human surpass them in the demonic hierarchy. Yeah. So, the, the ladder goes up, but I mean, I don't even know what they're fighting for. Wolves, you got the wolves in the demonic cycle of filth. They really, really, they'll, they'll wipe out everything and then wipe out each other until the last man standing just stands there 
it'll probably go mad because there won't be anybody left to inflict evil on. <laughs> it's how pathetic it really is. <laughs> Yeah, it's like they create all these uh, factions and, um, you know, they promote racism and, and uh, some, you know, like the, the KKK, Black Panthers, all these groups are all, all uh, yeah, orchestrated. They're all, they're all yep. wicked, man. There's always some, they're all Luciferian. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what kind of, you're, you're naming them all. Yeah. I'm going to see uh, the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund, uh, the Rothschild, uh, Bilderberg groups. Um, Rothschilds and Rockefeller. Now, there's two demonic yep. hybrids. Yep. Yeah, families of hybrids. The whole royalty in England, they're all hybrids. You see, that's what people don't understand. They just think that they're people or they're not. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and a lot of people that are even into the conspiracy, they don't, they don't realize what they're up against here. You know, they just think that there's some greedy old bankers that want more money. Now, they already have all the money. Yeah. Uh, what, what's going on? They're using the money to rope off humanity under their demonic tyranny, which is New World Order. Yep. And that's what New World Order is, demonic tyranny. And it, what they're doing is they're paving the way for the Antichrist to take power. That's yep. what they're doing. And all exactly. the chaos and confusion... And conspiracy that you see is the paving the way to the Antichrist to take power. It's, that's what they're doing. Yep. And and you have people being blackmailed into the Antichrist movement. I mean, they blackmailed me with death and forced me to to give my soul to Lucifer, and I declined. I said, "Kill me then." I was off. I screamed blood. I was like a little speck of sand standing in front of a satanic tornado. Well, surrounded, and I told them all to kiss my ass. Good. I would have told them the same and, damn thing, man. Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm standing tall for truth. Because I do that unconditional, and I, I wish everybody would do that. Because the world would be a better place. Oh, absolutely. Not saying that I'm better than anybody, but just saying that you know, either you're gonna stand tall for universal truth. Yep. Or you're gonna sell out to the lie, and you're gonna live a lie, and you're gonna live in self-deception until the day you die, and you will defend evil until your last dying breath. And, and what is that? Why do people do that? I just, I just don't understand it, man. I can't either. I, me, I'd rather die a truth or die a uh, free man. You know, I mean, die a person of God than to live as a slave under this new world order scum. Yeah, well, good for you. Yeah, I mean, and, um, I, wish, I wish there was more like you out there. Yeah, and then people like you I have on, and um, you know myself, and we every day we're out there uh, promoting the truth and light of uh, you know uh, Jesus Christ and everything, and uh, the truth and all that. And and people, it's like the Bible is. Uh, I mean, every day I, I debate people this that, and the other thing, and I can't see Scripture come more true than it is. And it's amazing. People sure is coming true. All that Scripture is coming true. Absolutely. And people, they run, I mean, when you bring somebody into the light, they run. I mean, they they run like a banshee, and they, they you know, there's nowhere for them to hide when you bring them to the light, so they fold like a deck of cards. It's like a vampire seeing a cross, yeah, I know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, amazing. I see that everywhere I go. And if you want to explain uh, the the massive control, because a lot of people think uh, you had the stupid movie Angels and Demons. Uh, you know, in the colleges, if they talk about the Illuminati, they say they were defeated in 1785, which we know they went because George Washington was talking about them. The president of Harvard University was talking about them in the 1800s. And, they, I mean, they, the nefarious doctrines of the Illuminati is a real threat here. And, you know, the Illuminati is still here today, and they're more powerful than ever. I mean, they started off in, um... Well, what they've done is they've branched off into so many different fronts. Yep. People don't even know who they are anymore. You know, because they're everywhere. They've infiltrated everything. It's, it's, it's their tentacles spread into everything. They're all the corporations. The yep. beast is thick now. It's, it's like, it's, it's not human. And that's why people don't understand. The conspiracy... How should I put this? They, they, they are all in telepathy with each other, all these demon yep. people. And that's why all the conspiracy falls within such perfect synchronicity with each other. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. That's why this conspiracy over here falls into this conspiracy here. And, and, and all these, and like Clinton and Bush and, and uh, from, from the past, they were passing these laws. 
because they were going to interconnect with what's happening now, and this will interconnect with what's happening later. Oh. It's just, it all trickles down. 